Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Indian Navy never misses any opportunity to impress us. Navy is quietly commissioning the secretive nuclear missile fragment ship that had been under construction since 2014. Now India will enter into a selected league of nations with capability to monitor missile launches at long distances enhancing the testing program and adding a crucial part to national missile defense system. The code name for the project is VC-11184 and it's very confidential. But don't worry, we'll be talking based on what is available in public domain. VC-11184 is an Ocean Surveillance Ship OSS, which is also called Missile Tracking Ship. The ship will be inducted in Indian Navy with the name of INS-2. This vessel is used only by five countries in the present time, which includes USA, UK, France, Russia, and China. Now, India will be sixth country in the world to operate such a state of art vessel. The testing and trials of INS through has started on March this year, and as per reports, it will be inducted in the Indian Navy by 10 September 2021. INS-2 will have ability to scan various spectrums to monitor spy satellites watching over India. The ship will be able to monitor India's developmental trials of missiles of greater range than ever before, virtually unlimited due to its ability to traverse the oceans. Besides, it will have the ability to detect launches by adversaries like Pakistan and China, giving India an early warning capability. This will also aid Indian Navy to monitor the region from Gulf of Aden to entry routes to South China Sea via Malacca, Suda, Lombok, Mumbai, and Waiter Straits. INS Troop will come under India's Strategic Command Force. As we all know, that India's Strategic Command Force used to handle the nuclear deterrent of our country and directly comes under Prime Minister Office. Initially, the vessel was constructed in a covered dry dock at Hindustan Shipyard Limited, the country's largest, to keep roving satellites and spying attempts at bay. The vessel has been built under Advanced Technology Vessel Program, which is directly monitored and funded by PMO. Rs. 725 crore project is a showcase and a Make in India initiative with high secrecy being maintained on details including the capabilities and systems on board. It is also one of the largest warships to be built at an Indian shipyard. Initially, it was targeted to include this vessel in Indian Navy by 2020, but it has to face multiple delays due to Chinese virus. But good news is that it will be inducted in Indian Navy by September 10th, 2021 as INS Dhruv. Talking about the specification of INS Dhruv, it is a 15,000 ton ship with a specialized surveillance system of three dome-shipped antennas packed with sensors. The length of ship is 175 meter, whereas its draught length is of 6 meter. It has a helipad for naval multi-role helicopters with crew capacity of 300. The vessel is powered by 9000 kW dual engine and three auxiliary generators for backup power supply. The vessel will generate over 14 MW of power just to power up its tracking radars, which will have multiple roles from tracking enemy missiles to accurately giving data on tests that are routinely carried out of indigenous strategic missiles. The vessel can attain a maximum speed of 22 knots. It has been fitted with two radars in L-band and X-band which can track any intercontinental ballistic missiles, SLBM and multiple independent targetable pre-entry vehicles. The multi-object tracking radar is used for L-band radar which is a state-of-art AESA radar made by ISRO. These radars can track trajectory and direction of any missiles. It can also predict the target trajectory. The range of L-band radar is between 4000 to 5000 km, which means it can track or detect any missile launched by China near Indian Ocean. The X-band radar has a range of up to 600 km and will be used to track multiple independent targetable re-entry vehicles. Satellite communication and jammer has also been installed in this vessel. Many antennas have been installed on vessel so that in case of any ballistic missile attack, all the platforms and tri-services of Indian Armed Forces are notified. It works 
as a ship early warning system which will be able to detect any missile launch in its prescribed range. It can also be used for satellite tracking, ocean mapping and research. At present, it can be deployed in Indian Ocean region. There is another vessel under construction which is smaller than INS Group. The details about this ship are also classified. The ship will have the capacity to carry around 100 crew members and can detect any subsonic or supersonic cruise missile. It will feature an S-band radar in place of an L-band radar. This ship is also in compilation stage and it is supposed to be inducted in Indian Navy by the end of 2021. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.